difficult while we were starting. That was fun. We're on a big ship, that's pretty cool. That was a pretty big wipe. All the healers are getting killed.
Oh, for fuck's sake. This boss is a lot of death. At least it's easier if it's easy to resurrect than this boss. I assume I'm just gonna die from Doom time right now. getting it down. I feel like this is going to be, be a long way. We're literally getting wiped on the first box. Just when I was casting rays, I got pushed off. Second attempt. Uh, let's go to the same time. Okay, we're doing a lot better now. Oh shit! No! 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 Run away! Run away! Run away! Run! 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 At least we can use SNF and not SNF.
at it. Perfect. Next one. This is a fun raid so far. Just the first boss was giving that, giving, make, it was annoying because of the knockback. The ads. If the next boss one of the tanks, please grab the ad and keep it far from the boss. Okay. So the tank is going to keep the ad far from the boss and the rest of us is going to kill the ad. Oh, I like this boss. Now this is a pretty cool looking boss. Is that a butterfly chair? Okay, that's pretty sick. That's us. And that's one heck of a boss. The Tether adds a deal with stopping the man. There's Tethers, Tethers, look at them. If you're tethered to someone, you look at them. So turn around and look at them. They're like, yo.
on, raise, 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 perfect. Medical. Okay, we got it, right? Okay, one else is... Everyone, everyone's good? Yep. Did you see Rez, right? Yeah, yeah. Alright, we're all good. I'm just gonna go up. Even 
weapons level too much taking increased, okay. Oh, nice. Yeah. 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 Is he dead? No? Or did we beat him though? Yep, not best of me yet. Okay. What is he doing now? Oh, he's summoning my, mon my monster. He's fusing. Fusion. Oh, that's a fusion. Down below his hallway. Okay. So that's the second floor. His final form. Oh. Wait for the tanks, you know. Great tanks. Great tanks. You can do the job. How did you die? Uh, 
gotta remove that attack back. Oh, for fuck's sake. Are we gonna like this or? There we go. I'll be tree. That was a fun game, fun match.
There we go. Oh, that was a fun, that was a fun round. <laughs> Oh, I resurrected the entire party with Limit Break Tree. That was epic. That was epic. Are you telling me it's not over yet? <laughs> oh god. Do not relax your guard. The air is still heavy with it, this fall presence. Why are they taking care of the family? You didn't even need the old dusty relic to do it. It's not over yet. Careful, Captain Devil, so you have the alerts in the shadows. Ain't the time for napping, Furball. We've still got a job to do. Sisters and I may not make my dark teeth, but well, my masters would be undone.
Should have known we were wasting our breath. The captain only needs the siren in his heart and the damn the consequences. I told you you'd be lost without me, didn't I? Look at you, puss. Getting knocked out cold in a moment of glory? You aren't like to get another chance to honor your master's memory and you almost missed it. I suppose you pulled through to the last. Hi, I'll give you that much. Eat. Concerned in lecture, you all knew I wasn't like to stay abed with such grand adventure in the making, and I'd rather break every bone in my body than be stripped of the freedom to go where I please. Besides, all that's end is done, glory. Eh? Diabolos is dead, and we're all alive. That counts as a victory in my book. It's just a pity it cost me the raiming in doing of it. I hope she rests easy for that island refuge. Music's Roll for promise. Used to add. Oh, let's add some new music. Nice. Before appears to be mourning the loss of the rain. Get me a new pair of goggles and an airship. I suppose we should be glad we didn't lose aught else after diving headlong into a void sent nest. Yeah, we're we'll taking the skies back. It's time we were taking our leave. The Talons and Rubios can kiss the brief alliance farewell. Unless, of course, you're interested in a more permanent arrangement? Both like girls might think your voice is a siren song, but it grates on my ears like a heartbeat screech. No, this is the first and last time we fly together. We're back to being rivals the way it's always been. You're a very stubborn man, Red Bill. I do well to remember. I always get what I want in the end. And she wants you. Red Bill, did you just realize that she wants you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> Head back to me, my quarters, and see the furballs where it's all be long in the pit. I feel so foolish. I demanded that they for remain behind only to have them rescue my mission. A certain failure. A failure. I would have made a mock of your heroic efforts. You're too kind. I would always exist, I can promptly express my contrition. I know not how to even begin making my apologies. I would like to approach the captain, but he has the air of a man who seeks solitude. It's strange to see him so melancholy. Could it be the loss of the dream, huh? which troubles him so? Nay, yeah, how shall I intrude upon his contemplation? Clumsy question and triple aptitudes. Let us leave them be.
Mr. Stasia, I might ask you a question. Do you know the cause of the captain's melancholy? Is it because of the ray mill? Pray tell me, if it is so, I cannot help but feel responsible for the vessel's destruction. I would better understand the offer's present distress. If you really want to understand, I suppose I should start with how the captain was orphaned as a child. As matters turned out, he was taken in by a high-born widow who raised him as her son. From what Leofred has told me, his adoptive mother was a kind, quiet-spoken woman, but due to some illness or some other, she was rarely able to venture outside. Instead, she spent hours reading to her boy from a library well stocked with books from faraway lands. Leofred cared for her as her malady grew worse. Oh, so she was sick or something? While she was alive, she never did ask much of him, not long before she passed on. However, she wrung on him one single promise that he escapes the conformity she had always endured and has lived his life as a free as a bird. As if you've likely guessed, her name was Raymil. That's her portrait there hanging on the wall. Ah, oh, this explains much. I had a wonder as to the origin of his vessel's naming. This guy pirate away as the life of Leia Fort chose for himself, but I like to think he named his ship the Raymill so that his mother would be there to watch over all of his adventures. Since when were you so loose lipped about a comrade's private past, Dacia? Oh, uh, sorry. Ain't in the habit of leaning on people sympathies enough so you can all keep the dead bit to yourselves, eh? And I thought I told you to see to that furball's wounds. Look at your cape, puss. It's in tatters. Come there, here for a moment. A scarf for me? Ah, oh, that's a little present we give to every new red bit. Raymond taught me that it's not, it's not protecting memories that's important, it's having the strength to follow your path and make those memories in the first place. Seeing how determined you are to clean your master's slate, I'd say you fit in with the crew. Listen, if you're t thinking that the little airship meant a lot to me, then you'd be right. But I'd rather mourn a hawk of metal than lose them as can as can share in me high as the news. So let's keep this straight, boys. There's no need for apologies. The sky card makes his choice and he sticks to it. The life of sky pirate, huh? Eh? As I seem to bear off of both place and purpose now, I suppose I shall accept your offer. I am yours to come in, Captain. Glad to hear it. Your first duty is to join us is giving our adventure here a proper send off. Well, it's about bloody time you two saw an eye to eye, but honestly, Captain, you don't mean to head out in those ranks, do you? Let's get you cleaned up as well before we say our fond farewells. Let's give you an escort down to Goldwyn. That was some adventure, Pedios. But our journey to the unknown is over. For the now. When the sky spit out some new mystery, you can bet I'm coming to find you. After all, there ain't nobody else who handles the unexpected quite like you do. My adventure and the heavy, heady rush of danger, surely in this life there is no greater reward.
That was a pretty cool, uh, that was pretty cool. I like that. I like that. Red scarf. So we got a, a scarf from Red Bull. I'm gonna miss this character. This was a awesome character. This was, uh, of course, she seemed to be amenable to the suggestion. One of our Charlene, yes. Has she arrived yet? She has, but when I explained that she would be joining us, she asked if she might use the intervening time to explore. I agreed to meet her outside on the front bridge. We should be on our way. Okay. Go to the front bridge? Oh, we're just over here, right? Wait here. Okay. Is that the person? Terribly sorry to have kept you all waiting. That's fine. Mm -hmm. You need not apologize. We arrived but a moment ago ourselves. Pray, allow me to introduce Kral, who has recently come from the Charlian motherland. She has generously offered to assist us. Oh, please, think nothing of it. The trip to Eorzea was long overdue. You must be the Warrior of Light. Yes, you certainly do look the part. <laughs> A pleasure to meet you at last, miss. And who is that I spy but young Alpha No Levy Yur himself? I dare say someone's grown an ill or two in my absence. Or are those lifts in your boots? We, um... <clears throat> Miss Croyle and I met at the studium years ago. I shall forever be indebted to her for her sage guidance. It was no small task keeping him out of trouble, believe you me. The youngest ever to enter the studium. Him and his sister, eleven-year-old prodigies. Suffice it to say, social graces were not among his list of talents. Striding up to his seniors on his first day, head held high. What was it he said again? Thank you, Kyle. For what? I haven't finished yet. Would you care to attempt a more dexterous deflection? <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Um, mayhap we should save this delightful conversation for a more fitting occasion, when pressing matters do not demand our undivided attention. A bit much, but better. I can tell you have been putting your skills to use here in Eorzea. Henceforth, I trust you will dazzle me with your eloquence at the first time of asking. Right, on to more pressing matters. Finding Minfilia and the other missing Scions. I gather you have new information to share with us. A new approach, actually. Tataru recounted the tale of your escape, and it gave me an idea. Simply put, assuming Thancred left some manner of trail when you whisked him away, as is almost always the case with teleportation magics, I am confident I can find and follow it. Then what are you waiting for? The wherewithal to do it. The fact is my abilities aren't quite up to the task. Not in themselves, anyway. If I had Master Matoya's crystal eye, on the other hand... 
Then let us all call on her forthwith. I think it best that you explain your plan to her in person. Okay, I gotta go talk to Master Matilda. Wait, the Falcon and Yashtola. Okay, I'm waiting. Okay, gotta go to Master Matilda's cave, which is all right over there. Oh yeah, there's no teleportation over there, right? I'm gonna have to fly all the way there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fly all the way there. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Oh, just threw my dragon. Oh wait. I don't have all the answer cards here, right? Uh, yeah, I'm missing two. Yeah, I don't know where the last two are in this section. Yep, never mind. I'm gonna have to walk all the way there then. Oh, there's Creeley. You did say they were headed for the cave, right? Did you not? Because I certainly don't see a cave nearby. Is Mr. Mudu meeting us on the way or something? He's right over there in the back. The prospect of meeting the famous Master Matoya seemed to have said clearly thinking. I've heard many stories. Mr. Mudu is not quite flattering, but it is less so. Mr. So sure, they're all true this way, and have care where you tread. Trouble I smell? Or did you forget to wipe your boots on the way in? Forgive us, Master Matoya. We will be sure to wipe them on the way out. And may I say how glad I am that age has not yet deprived you of your senses. Ever so quick-witted, aren't we? To the detriment of your manners. Well, out with it then. What do you want? Pray, allow me to introduce myself, Master Matoya. I am Kryle, of the students of Baldessian. I hope you will excuse our unannounced visit. Baldessian, you say? Ah, oh, yes. The old coot set up shop on the Isle of Val, didn't he? Regrettably, our Order's headquarters, and the Isle itself, were obliterated by a magic of immense power. I have the blessing of light to thank for my own preservation. Cryle! You too possess the Echo! Well, yes, of course I do. Our order is devoted to uncovering the mysteries of Hydaelyn and interpreting her will, particularly through the study of her gift to us. It was in the course of these studies that I met and subsequently befriended Minfilia. She and I have rather a lot in common. I had no idea. You weren't supposed to. Not that I wanted to deceive you, you understand. But precautions had to be taken. Yes, yes, that's all well and good, but you still haven't told me why you're here. The students of Baldessian are gone, and there is naught I can do to change that. But the signs of the Seventh Dawn can yet be restored, and my dear friend found. You have in your possession an ancient crystal of light, one you call your crystal eye. I believe I can use it to focus my abilities and locate one of the missing scions. 
And there I was, thinking you might want to make use of my years of experience. Oh, wait. Long did I ponder the nature of this crystal and its familiar radiance. But never did I suspect it was a crystal of light. On the cusp of an umbral calamity, souls blessed with the power of the Echo invariably appear. To aid these her chosen warriors, Hydaelyn bequeaths to each a slither of her strength in the form of a crystal of light. But as her strength wanes, so too does the potency of her gifts. This crystal, born of an earlier era, is infused with a power far greater than those of this age. You could travel the length and breadth of the land and not find a crystal even a fraction as pure. Its value is beyond measure, as are the risks inherent in its use. No two manifestations of the Echo are alike. I, for example, can converse with beings of every shape and size, excepting beasts, contrary to what others would have you believe. Language has nothing to do with it, of course. Rather, I am sensitive to the whispers of the soul. Their intent, their very essence even, the traces of which serve to guide the elementals to Yishtola. Far-fetched though it may sound, I believe that with your crystal eye, I may be able to pick up where they left off and follow the remaining trail to Thancred. That is, if I have your permission. Well, the poor sod's not going to find himself. So, as long as you don't drop it or take it out of my sight, you may do with it what you will. Thank you, Master Matoya. Then let us begin. Hunters of Tailfeather know those lands well. I say we begin our search there. The state, you may not have risk, risk contact with strangers on an allegiance. Yet, even had Tanger chose to remain in the forest, the hunters would surely have stumbled across this trail. Hellfires doesn't strike me as a nice solid outpost, though. Merchants and traders pass through reasonably regularly, do you not? Which was willing to provide a more detailed description when we question the locals. Fear not, really. I have already prepared several sketches of Tancred for that very purpose. You drew him from memory. Skill at car some years ago for reasons I no longer remember. Propose we split up into pairs. 
You stole that and I will inquire at the outlying encampments while Panos and Curly questioned the residents of Tailfighter. Afterwards, we shall regroup near Lof Us Vost and share our findings. Assuming there are no objections, let us begin. My, my, he certainly has matured, hasn't he? Hard to imagine he was once a boy who practiced drawing for hours to impress young ladies. <laughs> so that's the reason. Okay, makes sense. Anyway, we ha had best get started. Find, find me when you finish ma making your rounds. Curly knows all your secrets off and on. <laughs> That's funny. Curly knows all your secrets. Which of you? Let's have a look then. Show him a sketch. Eh, no, not seeing him around, sorry. That's fine. Gonna look at if someone else saw him. If, you're long, if, you, if he's lost somewhere in these woods, this, one of the hunters might have seen him, right? Did you see him? Am I a hiring man? We're not exactly where you know. It could be more specific. This man with his phone broke a while back, didn't get a little bit of his face, but this could have been him. This was beyond the forest, as I recall, along the river to the west of Tailfeather. Thinking he wasn't much of a hunter, that lad was making no effort to cover his tracks. See, that and he was carrying an axe instead of a bow. Interesting. So Tank Red was using an axe? Is that possible? Inside the house. Let's check inside the house. Hello, Merchant. Have you seen anything? Oh, what's we've got there? A sketch. There we go. Hmm, can't say I know the face. You say he's something of a warrior. I heard a tale the other day about a hero and Vagabond who brought down a bander snatched by himself in his style. Wait, tell it. He was dancing with the beast like it was the bell of the bleeding ball. Sound like a mega man? Yeah, that sounds like him. In that case, I think we've learned everything we can here. Let's see what the others have found out. Apologies for our late arrival, we thought I'd want us to question as many hunters as we could. We have made camp in an inaccessible location, ideal for hunting game, not so receiving this visitor. Never thought some time proof well spent. There have been countless signs of an exceptionally capable hiring hunter with whom no one is familiar. There were none chance to see the man's face, his height didn't match to his description, as does his fighting prowess. So you have heard the same tales, be it as it may, and yet want for conclusive proof. I had this isn't related, but I heard the curious tale regarding a bath trader. 
came to Telford in search of garments fit for a man of refinement. We have seen a rather curious description for one of his kind. He replied that Tank had sent a bath to market it instead. Why, why would he not go himself? Well, if you recall, you were yourself a merchant of life strip as naked as your name did. If it is a scene, I shall never forget. Is it now? Oh, well, I'm pleased to see you. I mean, it was a simple statement of fact. It stands to reason that Tanker found himself in the same predicament. In case if he had dealings with the bath, he would be able to tell us now. Quite right, really. Quite right. So next we're gonna go question the law. Alfino would like very much continue the search for Tancred. Tancred could be waiting for us and, and lost us fast. We must go and see the map right away. Come along. Come along. Maybe he's hiding a uh, Maybe he disguised himself as a bat? Maybe he disguised himself as an insect? You wanna talk to the app storyteller? Click, click. Quick hunters, welcome once more to Lost Fat. What do you seek this day? We seek a man, a man with whom we are told you may have had a certain dealings. How curious, the hunters tire of godly sport and pursue mortal prey? No, 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 he's not prey, but a friend long missing. Good, good, he's a friend of Afwa, one with whom we have traded many times. Surely, and you are quite certain it was this man. There's no doubt, the flesh and clothing in his skins come to us from some while, lost and weak. He offered meat and hides in trade, and in exchange we tended his wounds. He brought us much flesh, so skilled the hunter he was, much flesh. When he asked for garments, we were glad to provide them. And where is he now? Gone to Los Esknaf, not long ago, when he heard the one mine had summoned our god once more. Revenize return? Vidofnir did say that the gaff had ripped down the ruin of his before. What could Tancred hope to accomplish by himself? Honor Dollar would thank you for your help. Though we could pay his kindness ere we depart, but we must hasten to our comrade's side. Go, Red Hunters, this thing I've claimed him as a sacrifice. Click, click. Tancred, are you here? Tancred! Something going down there. 
Thancred. It could be Thancred. We must hurry. No, that's not Thancred. This day, we reclaim the reins of history. This day, we rid ourselves of the Asians forever. Fools playing at heroes, all of you. Is this how you believe you can save your world? We can and we will, Asian. You shall see. Or perhaps you will not. So you are the warrior of light, the savior of Eorzea. It's a wonder you didn't come sooner, what with the primal and all. Lost a step, have we? Have care. The ether moves strangely around him. It would seem we share a common enemy. Mayhap you would tell us who you are. Shall we show them? What the fuck is happening? Where are you guys attacking us all of a sudden? Uh, uh, oh, that's Tancred. Is Tancred. There's Tancred. Not very sporting of you to interrupt, but so be it. Mark well our faces, warrior of light, for we are the warriors of darkness, walkers of a different path. 
and we shall meet again. Warriors of Darkness? Really? Tancred, are you all right? Pleasantries can wait. I'd rather not be here when the Nath arrive. Agreed? Suffice it to say, our reunion was not at all as I pictured it. Waiting until the last instant to join the fray. Tis plain you have not lost your appetite for the dramatic. My appetite for the dramatic? Have you forgotten the circumstances of our party? The heroic last stand, the tunnel filling with light, and then... Had I known you intended to use forbidden magics to deliver me to some god's forsaken wilderness, I would have thanked you in advance. I would have thanked you in advance. Thancred. If nothing else, you might have warned me that I would emerge from the live stream in the altogether. Eventually, I managed to fashion knives from some obsidian I found, and set about hunting for meat and hides. Given that I'm not all that skilled in leatherworking, it's probably for the best that I met the Vath before I was reunited with you. So you were the fleshling clothed in skins of whom the storyteller spoke? A description which fit me as ill as the skins themselves. Happily, I was able to trade with the bath for garments better becoming a man of refinement. From them, I learned of Ravana, and of the great warrior who had once laid him low. And thence did you conclude that were you to track the primal's movements, it would surely bring you into contact with the Scions once more. It seemed a reasonable assumption. I could think of no one else with your enthusiasm for slaying beastmen gods. Until now, that is. Ah, yes. The self-proclaimed Warriors of Darkness. Tis only fitting that they stand in opposition to the Warrior of Light, I suppose. I glimpsed the leader's past, if only for a moment. They were confronting a man in black. An Asian, I think. If these warriors are capable of doing battle with Asians and Primals both, they must be possessed of powerful protection. Protection not unlike the Echo. The Echo and driven to put down Primals, despite his declaration that they walk a different path, I struggle to see how diff their goals conflict with ours. Nor is it that they the only authority. I find it passing strange that such an exceptional visual should have wholly expected or noticed until now. Surely we would have heard of rumors and attempted to recruit them to our cause. I recall no such adventurers, and I would not soon forget their like. Nor would any of us, I think. 
One of our primary duties was to scout the city-states for promising candidates, which is how Yida and Papalito found patios. On the memories, it seems like only yesterday that only you only slew your first primal. Speaking of which, I had the distinct impression that it is, was not the first time that a band of merry men and women killed a god. I labor to believe that a band of privilegedly gifted adventurers has been traveling the land, slaying primals without our knowledge. It would imply gross negligence on our part. Speculation will avail us not. There is far too much we do not know. For the presence, we must needs concentrate on what we do know, namely that Lord Ravana is no more. Vidofnir must be informed. The news may render her more receptive to Sir Amrick's invitation. Since you seem to have affairs here as well, well in hand, I shall take my leave. Simply being the vicinity of this colony is giving me a stinking headache. If you have need for me, I shall be with Master Matoya. I will beg her assistance with the search for Minophilia. Wait, Minophilia is missing? I thought she escaped with Helios. I shall explain the road. Much has happened in your absence. I had not sought to see you again so soon. If doubt seekers denied, know that she hath long since departed first guard. My thanks, Rivnir, but it was not for her that we came. We bring good tidings for you. Lord Ravana, who had been son of Ignaf, has been again, again been laid low. Truly, once more, you mortals have succeeded where mine own kid kind did fail. You have our deepest thanks. With that, we would take credit to God failed by another's hand. Another revelation upon revelation. Regardless, it is cause for celebration. Ignaf will have no choice but to withdraw. But to matter, another matter, I have tidings for thee as well. Regarding the Ishgardian devastation, as promised, I brought the matter to my sire. Hearken to his answer now. For a thousand years have I mourned my beloved, who gave her life to forge a peace tide kind and betrayed. Just wasn't my lot until the child of Ishgard came unto me. For want of warmth, she wrapped herself in a dream. Yet the world will remember her deeds for truth. She fought for justice. She sinned for redemption. She sacrificed. She became his light. Follow one's heart to have faith in one conviction, be it weal or be it for woe. It's just as the folly of glory of man and of dragon. He has entrusted the choice of us and we and have admitted we will keep faith with you who walk in the light. And you accept Sir Amrick's invitation then. Let it be known that I, Vidovnia, shall journey into Ishgard on behalf of my people. We are honored to receive your answer and will convey your words to our allies without delay. What is happening, Sal? The debt you were here to see, I wish you were here to see it. Even as the Scions celebrated the return of a long-lost friend, honorable men plotted to deprive them of another. Honorable men, to whom Sir Emmerich was no hero but a scheming patricide.
Honorable men who would fain wash the paving stones of foundation with the tyrant's blood. Honorable men whose knife in the dark was the spark which set the city aflame and who sang as it burned. So there's assassins in Ishgard now, right? Assassins in Ishgard? Great. Things are becoming pretty dangerous in Ishgard, that's for sure. today. We met Tancred, we, uh, we had a successful raid with the Sky Pirates, everything was pretty good. So this was pretty fun for today. I'll see you guys next time on FF14.